together. Thanks, Jamie. Okay, we're recording. Welcome everyone to this taster of accessing the joy of body. My name is Amy Shine. Um, I'm an access consciousness facilitator and I'm also a movement facilitator. I um, started to really involve, um, engage with conscious movement and embodied, embodied movement, conscious dance, um, God, years ago, probably like 15 years ago now, um, even longer. And for me, it was, it was a therapy. It was a way of getting out of my head into my body. And in this world, you know, movement is done primarily from judgment. You know, you go to the gym because you need to lose weight or because you want to change the shape of your body. And what I found was that dance um, not structured dance, not dance that where I had to follow steps, but dance where I really just listened to my body and moved my body from, from choice actually started to heal my body. So movement has been a tool that I've used to facilitate me in accessing more presence with my body, more power, more magic, um, and really true ecstasy, true joy. You know, this is called accessing the joy of body. What is the joy of body that you can access through movement? What if movement can facilitate you in accessing a true joy of body? Um, I, you know, would have gone to nightclubs a lot when I was younger and, you know, drank and gone out and drank and then danced and it was always like something outside of me was the source. Um, drugs were the source or, you know, alcohol was the source or relationship was the source. And when I started to find um, movement, conscious movement um, and dropping out of my head into my body and accessing an ecstasy from within my body, that awakened a joy in me that nothing or no one outside of me could give me. So really start to show I was the source and my body was the source of true ecstasy. Going on the journey of accessing the joy of body is a process. It takes a while sometimes to let go of our control and of our mind. We have a lot of judgments of our, of our bodies. We have a lot of judgments of movement. We have a lot of judgments of how we should move our body. Um, and, it and this movement is inviting you to let go of those judgments and get out of your head into your body. When you get out of your head into your body, then you can start to access the magic, the miracles, the joy of body. So that has to be a process you go through, though. A lot of us are so controlling in our heads. Do you allow yourself to let go of control and do you surrender to your body and allow your body to lead? We're so used to telling our body what way to move, getting instructions from someone else of how to move. So this way of moving is really asking you to let go of the form, the structure, the control, the ego, the thoughts, the feelings, the emotions, and truly surrender to your body and when you surrender to your body you also surrender to the earth because your body comes from the earth so when you get out of your head into your body that's when you actually start to have a communion with the earth and then you can receive from the earth it's a beautiful process so let's do this how many judgments do you have of movement all the judgments you have of movement and everything you have bought, told, or sold yourself about how your body moves, the way it can move, the way it can't move. <sighs> can we now destroy and uncreate it, please? Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, only shorts, boys, povets, and meons. How many judgments do you have of dance? Everywhere you were a dancer, and all the judgments you have from all the lifetimes, you were a performance dancer. And everywhere you're avoiding being totally out of control with dance in this lifetime, can we destroy and uncreate it, please? Right round, good, bad, good, on your boys, both to be honest. So what are you avoiding with being out of control with movement? Wow. 
Wow. What are you defending with not allowing yourself to be out of control with movement? Everything you're avoiding and defending that keeps you ever being totally out of control, out of form, structure, significances, linearities, limitations, definitions, conclusions, concentricities, whip movement, can we destroy and uncreate it, please? Oh, right, wrong, good, bad, papa, on a shirt, boys, pova, to me, ants. What are you avoiding with movement? Hmm. Wow. How many of you are avoiding change with movement? To move is to change. If you're not moving, you're not changing. So how many of you are avoiding change by never moving your body or to, are also, also moving your body with resistance? <laughs> Everything that is times a godzillion can we destroy and uncreate it, please? Right, round, good, bad, 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 good, shirts, boys, poets, beyonds. What are you defending with movement? Wow. Everything you're avoiding and defending with movement that keeps you ever being totally out of control, out of form, structure, significances, linearities, limitations, definitions, conclusions, concentricities, with movement and our bodies, can we now destroy and uncreate it, please? <sighs> right round, good, bad, papak, on shirts, boys, povets, and meons. If any of you aren't on my 365 days of out of control, get on it. It's free. We're doing it every day, 30 times a day. Because this is what the movement is. The movement is a journey into letting go of control. If you can let go of control in the movement, then maybe you'll start to let go of control in your life. How many of you are avoiding being totally out of control with your body and with movement and moving your body? How many of you are trying to get movement right? How many of you have already decided your movement is wrong? How many of you are already decided your body is wrong and are trying to get your body right? So everywhere you've already decided your body is wrong and everywhere you're trying to get your body right, which ensures you'll only ever try to do movement right and you'll always have decided somewhere you're wrong. Can we destroy and uncreate that now, please? Oh, right, wrong, good, bad, papak, only shirts, boys, povets, and meons. Thanks, Jamie. She posted the out of control group in there. So yeah, so like, so my invitation with the movement is really getting out of control, letting go of the right and wrong, forgetting what it looks like. It's not pretty. It's not structured. It's not, um, it's not choreographed. It's raw, primal, wild, unbridled, ecstatic movement. It's coming back to the earth. It's dancing with the earth. The art doesn't have a judgment of movement or bodies or you. So when you let go of your mind, you throw away those judgments, you surrender to your movement, you come back to your true ecstasy, your true joy, which is out of control. You are innately out of control. And it's coming back to that joy of movement you had as a child where you played and you skipped and you explored and you jumped and you hopped and you danced and you leaped, but you didn't try to control your movement. You didn't have a judgment of movement. So how old were you when you started judging movement? When you started judging your movement? Wow. Everything that is and everything you decided at that age and everywhere you give up your out of control joy of body and movement to validate everyone else's judgments of bodies and movement, can we now revoke, recant, rescind, renounce, denounce, destroy, and uncreate it all? Mm -hmm. Right, rank, good, bad, papa, on his shirts, boys, povets, and meons. Wow. So I'm going to invite you today to journey from your head to your body and start to ask to have that joy of movement you had as a child again before you started judging your movement, before you started judging your body.
Oh, everything that doesn't allow that, can we destroy and uncreate it, please? Right round, good bad, back on our shirts, boys, povers, and hands. Okay, so with that, we're going to begin the movement. I'm going to, it's, um, this is a taster, so I'm giving you a little taste of the elements I can move you through in the movement. Um, Raffle said, the Arabic, Arabic translation will be uploaded later. Delayed translation for Arabic. Okay, so I'm going to move you to the elements, the art elements. I'm going to give you a taste of each art element, and then um, I'm going to give you some embodiment practices, which are designed to get you out of your head into your body. Ultimately, though, move the way your body wants to move um, and listen to your body. How does your body want to move? The practices I will guide you through are designed to get you out of your head into your body. So when you're in your head, you come back to embodiment practices to drop you out of your head. Okay, so let's begin. Take a breath. Turn off your camera if you want your camera off. You don't want people seeing you moving. If you're sitting on a chair, maybe come off the chair. We're, I'm going to start on the floor on my carpet, and then I'm going to come to standing. So we're only going to sit for one song. And you also don't have to sit. Okay. Take a deep inhale. Exhale into your body. Start to bring some gentle movement into your body. Does my sound okay? Just start circling into your head. Circle into your neck. to the front, exhale to the back of your neck. of your heart, exhale to the back of your spine, we're going to circle oh, down our body. Quiet, place that Feel your bum on the earth, so I won't fight it. feel your legs fight touching it. down into the earth. Inhale from the earth. Up through your feet, Don't up through your legs, come into your sacrum, me. up and out the crown of your head. <sighs> Inhale from the earth up the back of your body. You're going to pull the energy of the earth up into your body. Exhale, drop even deeper down into your body, into your feet, into your legs. We're going to activate the element of earth. You're dropping from your head deep down into the earth, into the core of the earth. Earth here, what would you ask for? Earth, show me.
arch up through your feet, up through your legs, into your genitals, up through your body, up and out the crown of your head, circling it through, waking up your body, dropping from your head into the earth, dropping your body down into the earth. So you're going to drop down into the earth, touch your hands down into the earth, fill up through your body. Fill up into your legs, through your feet, your back of your sacrum. Fill up, fill up, 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 exhale it out, let it go. <sighs> there you go. So we're, you, we're going to use our breath. So our breath, we're going to talk a lot about your breath. Your breath drops you out of your head. It drops you out of your head. It gets you out of control. So inhale, touch down into the earth, pulling the energy of the earth up through your feet, up through your legs, up into your body. Pull up into the sacrum and exhale it out. Now we're going to do that again. We're going to go down into the earth. This time we're going to pull from the earth up the back of your body, up the back of your legs, into the back of your hips. Exhale, let it go. So feel your feet touching down into the earth. Now feel the earth coming up through your feet. Now we're in our bodies. We're getting into that earth, that root area. And now we're going to start moving into the sacral. So the sacral is your hips your sacral, your sensualness. This is the element of water. We're going to activate the element of water here. So you can start to bring your hands in so they're like spiraling. I see it like you're drawing a sides, sideways number eight in the air. So like you're spiraling with your hands, drawing a sideways number eight, and then you're going to start to move that spiraling movement into your shoulders, into your heart so you're pulling the energy of water you're pulling water through your heart into the back of your shoulder blades Whew. we hold a lot of tension behind us so pulling that water energy up through your spine and then spiraling it into your hips we're going to start activating that sensualness the flow of the ocean moving through your body there's no music i just stopped it for a moment there's music now sacral chakra tension okay and you just can't ignore yeah, pulling up the energy of water i've been here before and what you've would you like to let go of here stand it's a higher water is the energy of letting go let it burn let it burn from my deepest desires i'm trying to love you not like this Close your eyes, drop into your sacral. Shock attention, it's taking control, but we're better than this. You're worth more than just a kiss. Slow it down. You know? Slower than you want to go. Dropping down into your sacral. What is your sacral asking for here? Creativity on fire. The cards will tell. 
Tapped into my empress self, I'm a goddess, baby. Better treat me like it. And I'm my king of clubs, so so be it. Reflection. Deep dive into this connection. Sacral chakra attention. What is your sacral asking of you? How is your sacral asking to move? Spiral it through your feet, your legs, up into your hips, up in your, onto your spine. It was more than just a kiss, don't you know? Up into your heart. Get into the outside edges of your head. I crave honesty. Be translucent with me. From the earth, Locked in pulling the energy of water up into your hips, into your safe. Exhale, let it go, let it flow out. Ooh, let that move. Are you a little bit more present in your body now than when you started? So now we're going to start. Now we're going to activate the energy of fire. So with fire, it's still that earthy energy. So we are activating that power that um that martial art type movement it's the tribal movement so you're going to start tapping your feet down into the earth so you can go right to left left to right you're really going to get into that fiery power movement so everything you've been suppressing in your solar plexus in your stomach everybody else's thoughts feelings and emotions you've been storing here you're going to move that out you're going to reverse out of your body any heaviness, judgment, stagnant energies. And we're going to use that fire energy to burn through the powerlessness, the anger, the fear, the resentment, all of that. Here's where the fire can burn through that. So inhale from the earth into your solar plexus. Exhale, let it go. And you're going to go right to left, left to right. Let that drum, let the drum move through you. Get that fire going. Shake it out. Fire burn through all the lights. Shake it out. Move it out. Right to left, left to right. that drum, the rhythm. Move that anger, the sadness, the fear out of your body into the earth. Shake it out, reverse it out.
Dig it out. Everyone else's judgments turned about. Reverse them out of your body. Read with it. Shake out from the tips of your fingers, up and out the crown of your head. Shake out your spine. Shake out your sacrum, your legs. drum move through you. Let the rhythm, let the beat move up through yourself. Now move with the beat, move with the drum. Let go of control of your body. Close your eyes. Breathe with us. Get into that power. Check it out one last time. Down, deep down into the earth. your spine. Everything you've been hiding and holding behind you, shake it out. Shake it out. Tips of your fingers. Your toe tips. Shake them out. Inhale. Inhale to the earth. Touchdown. Feel the earth. Pull up through your body. Inhale up into your body. Up into your heart. Exhale, let it go. Let's do that again. We're going to do a love breath to our heart. So you're inhaling from the earth up into your heart. Exhale. There we go. Now we're going to lift up into our heart. We're going to bring in the energy of air, the element of air. But at the same time, we're opening our hearts. We're melting our hearts. We're opening up to receiving. <sighs> Inhale from your heart. Lift up. So you're lifting your hands here. You're lifting the energy up now from your sacral, your solar, into your heart. You're opening up. Bring your movement up. Activating that joy. Swirling the energy, bringing your hands through. Bringing in that lyrical flow. And it's still in chaos. Pulling energies from everywhere. Here we go. Surrender. 
Peter. Deco. Less a love and more fighter. But I'm tired of fighting to hold on. Got too many scars behind him. What so is your heart you asking for here? My own. Lift up into your heart. One shot, one touch, and I let go. How did this happen? My walls were open. Pulling energy from everywhere into your heart. Let go. Let your hands go, let your arms go. Let your head go, let your neck go. through your body. Turn it up. Pull from past, present, future. Opening up your heart, opening into receiving. How did this happen? My walls were up. Open up your crown. Move without a sound. Never imagine like an assassin. The one love took me down. Now what is your heart down, asking down, for? Down. Down, down, down. Your one love took me down. Down, down, down. Down, down, down. Where is your joy? Your one love took Pull it back to you now. Turn it up. Has to be that joy again. That joy you had when you were a child. That joy of movement. That joy of body. Activate it. Move with it. Be it. going to move to our throat opening up from our throat out the crown of our head inhale from the earth again into our heart exhale out the crown of your head still moving but now we're slowing down our movement now we're bringing in that lyrical presence still moving with air And we're also pulling from everywhere in the universe now, opening up. So if you knew you were the source of your joy, if you knew you were the 
source of your body. Can you move here as you being the source, the source of joy, that lyrical movement, oneness of energy. Pulling back to you, you, the joyful you. Letting your fingers lead you here, letting your hands lead you. What's asking to be healed in you? of light, all the conscious beings to you, everyone who'd like to contribute to you, all your teammates, coming back to you. asking of you now. What would it like you to know? What can you ask of the universe? And what can you ask of your body?
Take a deep inhale. Finding your way to stillness. It could be standing. It could be lying on the mat. Letting your whole body melt into the earth. And as you let your whole body melt down into the earth now. And at the same time, you open up your crown. Open into the universe. Allowing the universe in. Allowing all the beings of consciousness to support you. in your body that you can now ask the earth beings the light beings to contribute to the art of
like all the beings, your body, and the earth, for always having your back, showing you the way. And if this is possible, what else is possible now? What else can you uncover and access with your body? Inhale, deep, 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 deep down into the earth. Pulling up from the earth into your body. Allowing the Earth's energy fill up every molecule, every cell. Up and out the crown of your head. And then pulling gold, golden sun, down the crown of your head, into your body. Liquefying your body. Golden light through every cell in your body. Thank your sweet body. Expanding out. Being more space. And now what else can you be? What else can you access with your body? Marak. Wow. Hey guys, let me plug out the sound. Can you hear me? Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, wow, um, that was a taster, Anamik, thank you. Yeah, that was a taster. <laughs> this is um, this is so much more powerful when we can do it in person. So um, I do this as like a one day class or a two and a half day class. So it can be like a one day deep dive or a whole weekend immersion deep dive. Um, and we can explore so much more in the weekend classes or the one days. So we'll explore like the elements of the earth, but we'll also explore like moving with the elements of intimacy, moving with trust, honor, gratitude, vulnerability, allowance, moving with sensualness, moving with sexualness, moving with orgasm. So there's so much to be explored. And um, I can go further in a one day than I can do, you know, in a taster. But yeah, this is just a taste. And um, I do have a one day accessing the joy body coming up in the Netherlands in February um, in Amsterdam, just outside Amsterdam. And we'll include that in the follow up email. And then we're going to I'm also going to be going to Saudi Arabia um, for a two and a half day. Um, so if you're interested, if you're in those areas, you're welcome to jump, come join us. And um, we are going to also do five days of accessing the joy of body online so it's only 35 dollars. so what we'll do is we'll do 30 minutes each day and that will get you into the practice of moving your body and playing with these different energies and um, it's funny because before I came on today I have like a little bit of a sore throat and I wasn't feeling great today I was feeling very tired and I just wanted to lay in bed for the whole day and um and then I come on here and I kind of like didn't want to do this. You know, I was like, oh, I don't want to do this. And then I come on and the minute, like five minutes into moving my body, my energy shifts. So it's amazing what we avoid with not moving our body, the change we avoid, the movement of energy in our bodies. Um, and this way of moving is really like an incredible transformation because it's really inviting you to let go of your image, your right and wrong, your judgment. And really start to access like what's within your body. Your body has a lot of information. It has a lot of wisdom. Um, and when you get present with it and you move with it, it's amazing what you start to uncover.
Thank you, everyone. Um, Sandra said, never imagined this much. Wow, never even yawned so much in my life. Oh, thanks for that, saying that. So this movement is, um, it is actually, it does detox your body. It is like an, um, like this isn't like a, a Zumba class, right? We're not just exercising. We're actually moving energy. So um, you can start to burp. You can start to belch. You can start to yawn. That's your body beginning the detoxification process. It's always great to like to go for Epsom salt baths, drink lots of water after these processes. Yeah, it is like a body process. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, amazing. Yeah, we have the three-day body class in Amsterdam as well. And so we're going to do the three-day body class first and then the one day accessing the joy of body, which is amazing because if you do a three-day body class where it's an access class where you're getting three days of body work, you are so much more open to movement after that and letting go of control. Yeah, Vashmi said um, she came up that she gave up on her as a kid. Yeah, and a lot of us did. And, and for me, the movement has been like, it's almost like um, like a soul retreat. I know we don't really talk about souls and access, but being retrieval, soul retrieval, like, like going back and like getting parts and pieces of you that you may have separated from and retrieving them again through the movement. Um, there's been times where I've cried at the end of the movement and um, there's been times where I've just like accessed energies that I haven't been able to get to um, in a normal like exercise class. Mm. Movement is like magic. I agree. So, so thanks, everyone. Thanks, Eve, Ava, for translating. It's not an easy job to translate an online movement class, but um, it'll be much easier in person. If any of you are interested in having this as a workshop in your town or your city, let me know. I'm happy to travel. Um, and if you are like looking for things like this, um, there's stuff called ecstatic dance, five rhythms, um, chakra dance. They're all kind of like a variation of this kind of movement. Um, so you can just Google that. There tends to be like usually groups who get together in most towns and cities around the world. It's becoming like a movement you know so yeah any questions or anything before we leave is everyone okay yes we will do accessing the joy of body in israel let's talk to um Mikhail, our host about that Okay, thank you all so much for joining me. Um, we will send this replay and we'll send the upcoming classes. If you want to join the five days of accessing the joy of body, it starts January the 25th. It's only $35 as well. So that will give you more practice with this kind of movement. And we do energy pulls in that as well. So we move and then we pull energy for what we're asking for as well. So it's fun. It's a creation. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. Have a beautiful night. Thanks, Judith. Thanks, Jamie. Thanks, Ava. Thanks, Andrea. Bye. Yeah.